Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing with you guys Dollar Tree Easter DIYs. DIY I'll be using the Dollar Tree wooden truck they have these in the crafter section all the time and I always pick them up for holidays and never use them but this time I have a really cute idea I cannot take all the credit for this um, I do have to give a little bit of credit to my oldest daughter Scarlett um, but anyways I'm using the color agave for the truck and then I'm using the color ink for the wheels and the backing of this and those are both by Waverly Chalk Paint and then I also have this long wooden piece that is also from Dollar Tree and I am painting it in the color Truffle by Waverly Chalk Paint of course. So once that is all dry you get to decorate this however you would like. So for starters I thought that carrots or eggs or something like that for fun for spring or Easter would be really cute in the back side of the truck. I had these felt stickers and these little rabbit I want to say they're little gardening sticks. Um, I picked those up in a little gardening area. They weren't even in the Easter section. Uh, so I'm just gluing the carrots to the back side. They are felt and they are sticky, but since I am not going to be using it on the sticky side, I had to use some glue. I'm also using, I'd want to call this Easter grass. Why can I not think of what this is called top of my head? Either way, you can use any sort of greenery you want. I just wanted this to kind of pop out like it was weeds in the back of the carrots. And then I'm going to be using this stick. So this is where my daughter thought it would be such a cute idea. And it really did turn out so good. She thought that the rabbit in the back side of the truck looked super cute as if it was driving. So we're going to be painting that rabbit in the Waverly Chalk Paint in white, gluing this truck down. And then I'm going to be gluing that bunny in the window so it looks like it is driving. <music> did not think it looked finished so I had to add a rub-on transfer this is from the redesign by Prima rub-on transfers I'm not sure which pack this came in it was just kind of cut up but I buy the chickens and the pigs and I will link any of those I can find in the description box for you guys because they are so stinking cute and I've used them in plenty of DIY videos <laughs> DIY I'll be using a wooden crate it has been a minute since I have used a lot of these wooden pieces from Dollar Tree so it's kind of exciting to actually be using a lot of things that are already in my stash I'm using the ballet slipper by Waverly to paint that crate and I'm using one of these windows this is from Dollar Tree as well I decide to keep that clip on because I know if I take it down something is going to happen to this and it's not going to look pretty so I left it there it is fine. I end up covering it up anyways. I have these wooden bunnies. They came in a pack of 12 from Dollar Tree and you're going to see I use these in a couple different DIYs in this video. So glued three of them to the crate and then I just had some greenery that I'm be adding in to here along with some eggs. The greenery came from Walmart and of course these eggs are from Dollar Tree. A Dollar Tree cutting board. I have not found these in a while, along with these little bunny butts and a Chalk Couture silk screen transfer. I love using Chalk Couture and I had to use some sort of Chalk Couture transfer in this video. I have a ton of cute little Easter ones I really want to use. I'm using the chalk paste in the color eggshell. It is so pretty. It's brand new this year and I think it's maybe it's brand new. It just came out and it is beautiful. I love it for Easter. I think I actually will be using it for farmhouse as well. I'm also using the color velvet in the chalk couture chalk paste as well. And this um, silk screen transfer actually came in a six pack. So you can make six different DIYs with this or more because you can reuse these transfers. So once that was done and dry, I just took my little bunny butt and glued it right to the center of this. And that is all I did for this cute little sign. Project. I needed something a little bit larger. So I did have this sign from Michaels. It came in a two pack and I got it on sale. They are $4.99 for two. I have had them for a while. So I don't know if this sale comes out on a regular basis, but 
I thought that was a steal for these large wood pieces. I'm using some scrapbook paper and of course my handy dandy Elmer's glue stick to glue that scrapbook paper right to the top of this wood piece. Scrapbook paper is from Hobby Lobby. And if you don't have a wood piece like this, you can use a wood piece or even a frame from a Dollar Tree. I just opted in for something that I had on hand. I'm using this Dollar Tree sign. I ripped the bunny right off the top and glued it to the center. So once I had this home, I realized I think that galvanized piece to the ear was missing because I'm like, oh man, there's like glue stuck here. There must have been something. So I grabbed the felt I picked up from Dollar Tree and just made a little pink center for the bunny ear because I just didn't want that glue sticking out and it really looked like something was missing. But that is it for this one. using some bunny picks along with the rest of that sign in another wooden sign from the Dollar Tree. So of course I really tried to use everything that I purchased and pick up and I had that happy Easter from the last DIY with that bunny. So I thought that, you know what, let's make another cute little sign, but glue it. You can hang this up. You can set it on your hutch or you can set it wherever you would like. And then I had to glue that bunny head to it. And that is all I did for this. It was super simple and easy. I'll be using this wooden house. This is also from Dollar Tree. This is a Dollar Tree video. So I think pretty much probably 89% of everything came from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm using my glue stick, keeping that tag right on because it is not necessary to pull off. You're not going to be able to see it in a second. Adding scrapbook paper. This scrapbook paper came from Michael's a couple years ago. Um, so I just decided to use it this year. I have some fun embellishments, these little wooden bunnies and that felt flower kit to add to this. I'm gluing that bunny to the bottom, adding some twine, wrapping it around and tying it. And my twine also comes from the Dollar Tree. But if you get it in the car section, you get a better deal and you get more as well. And then I'm just grabbing one of those pink flowers and some leaves. I'm kind of just stuffing it in to see what it looks like and it is, that's all I did for this one. It, it turned out absolutely adorable. one I'm using these gingham bow bunnies they are so cute I found purple pink and the blue ones and I'm just gonna be using one of each I think I might make something else with these two I kind of just have to figure it out I did buy these kind of on a whim I knew I was gonna make some sort of sign and I did and now I need to figure out what to do with the rest of them but I just glued them right to this sign I didn't add anything else I left it as is and I think this is so cute My favorite signs to use from the Dollar Tree because they just pull right out like a regular picture frame, pull the back off, and I just traced around some scrapbook paper. I am using this faux shiplap. I think this is such a pretty scrapbook paper. I try to use this as much as I possibly can. I got a huge booklet around Christmas time with different wood items or wood pieces uh, from Hobby Lobby, and I think it was $5.99. Uh, so I am just putting the little picture frame or the little sign back together and adding these wooden bunnies. And that is it for this one. bunny head and another little faux shiplap sign and of course some scrapbook paper this one came from Hobby Lobby I have quite a few of these I think this is my favorite scrapbook paper ever they're just so cute spring scrapbook paper is just so fun to use anyways and of course I'm using my Elmer's glue stick and I'm actually gluing the scrapbook paper to the back side just because it is actually more flat than the other side and then you'd have to paint around it and we're just going to go with the easy way around here. So gluing that right to the center of the sign. And then I'm going to be grabbing another one of these felt flower kits that is also from Dollar Tree. They have a bunch of different colors and shapes and styles. And I think these are just really fun to use and they're easy. Grab some hot glue and there you go.
Dollar Tree house, of course, along with this garland. This was super pretty and really fun to use. I did not like the holes in the top, but sometimes you just don't know what to do with that. I didn't want to add flowers. I wanted to keep this pretty simple black and white and wood, like the natural wood color. I'm using these half wood beads. I picked these off Amazon and I'll link them in the description box for you guys if you want to pick some up, but I have all different shapes and sizes and colors and I just love using these. I think it really just kind of brings like a little elevation to your projects. But that is it. That's it for this one. That is actually the end of the video. If you guys like these $10 Tree Spring Easter DIYs, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love you consider sticking around and subscribing. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.